Oh, a while ago, I ordered a Spindex from the internet, and the price was pretty good, but I'm not sure the quality was so good. Uh, here's what uh, happened. All right, there's our Spindex. We've got our indicator set up on zero or very close to it. And we're going to put a slight pressure downward on this. And we have moved, I don't know, three and a half thousandths. Slight pressure upwards. Oh, about the couple of thou that way at least. So that's three, four, five and a half, five to six thousandths air. As we turn the spindex, we should see that reflected in the run out. So this is not wonderful. I should have paid more money for the spindex. But I do have somewhat of a solution that will improve this. So what we've done here to resolve our problem, at least partially resolve, we took this out of here and we put a quarter twenty screw thread in there and went all the way through with that uh, quarter twenty tap drill. So now we can put it back in there. We're only uh, well, about that deep with the, uh, with the thread. It doesn't go all the way in there. We found a fairly hefty looking little spring here that we can drop in the hole but we also found a ball bearing that will drop to the bottom of the hole. We can put that in, follow that with the spring and put our little screw here into the thread, tighten the thing up till the ball hits, a little tension on there and we'll have a, a recheck all right, we've got our spring assembly in there now, and we're going to check the run out again. Let me get that focused on here. We're pretty well zeroed out there, and we're turning. There's one thou. Coming back again. Back to zero. So we have cut that run out down to one thou. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.